welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry that today I didn't have an update for you guys, but well, today's video I didn't have an update for you guys. I know a lot of you are asking how my doctor's appointment went and everything like that. Sorry I'm not in like an official sit down video like <laughs> spot. But when you have three kids, you make use of the time that you have. So I ran to the post office and this is like my typical post office like spot. So <laughs> it's kind of funny because the last miscarriage update I made in the car was right here. So anyways, with our last miscarriage. So anyways, I went to my doctor um, and I told Tab, I said, I don't really know what I was expecting to get out of that visit. But I don't feel like I got any, I don't know if I was hoping for closure or she'd have some answers to what happened or anything like that, but she just doesn't. She didn't have any answers. Pathology didn't show anything. Um, oh, at least the sample that they took didn't show anything. And they don't test for genetics until you've had your third loss. And then again, Tab's hospital is kind of weird about checking for genetics. Um, so we didn't get any of that information. But uh, she pulled her whole forgetting thing. I think she just has too many patients and she just kind of forgets until I jogged her memory because she's like, oh, Shaw, how do you feel about your choice to have a DNC? I said, I didn't have a choice. She's all, what do you mean? I said, I was bleeding out. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. She, oh, that's right. She's all, you're the one who was hemorrhaging in the ER. I was like, yes, <laughs> the me. She's all, well, I want you to know, she's like, the placenta, she said, was really hard. She said, usually it's spongy, but it was really hard, which was weird. And she said the baby was already coming out when she got ready to do the DNC. And she said that she does not like, she is not pro-abortion. I guess you would want to say she doesn't she doesn't terminate pregnancies if that that's the correct term she doesn't terminate pregnancies so she said that if you were bleeding and the baby looked fine and you, we could get your bleeding under control she saw I would give you blood transfusion till the cows come home that was her quote so but there was no stopping it there was no you were just bleeding way too much she said that this is like one of the rarest things that can happen in a miscarriage. She said about one to three percent of people this happens to them. Um, she said it's really awful but it's really rare and she said my chances of having that same thing happen again with all the hemorrhaging um, is even half of how rare it was. So the chances of it happening she said I'm most like more likely to die on the drive home than for that to happen again. So, that being said, my test was negative at her office, um, and I've been getting negatives for like the past four days, and so, um, she said that we can try whenever we're ready, whenever we want to try. Um, she said she just waits the two weeks and you can go from there. She said that studies have came out saying that, um, the, if you conceive in the next three months, you're less likely to have another miscarriage, but obviously that wasn't true last time, so I don't know. I think it was just, it was gonna happen regardless, so I don't know. It doesn't make you feel any better, you guys. But the weirdest thing was yesterday, I started getting like a little bit of a pink line on a test again, so I don't know what my body's doing, you guys. I don't know if it's done, not done. I don't know what it's doing. It's confusing me it really is so basically she didn't give me any information she said that it's really rare that that happened she doesn't know what happened to the baby she said it probably has to do with the placenta um, she says most of the time when the baby has placental problems it's because they either have a extra chromosome or lost a chromosome so basically it kind of sounds like it might have been just a a chromosome thing but um, the baby was already coming out and she couldn't save him she said I would if I could have saved I'm gonna cry you guys she said if I could have saved your baby I would so she might be really forgetful but she's actually a really good doctor so I trying to get over my anger towards her for forgetting so much but 
she has a lot on her plate and I'm just one in a sea full of many so where I would love to have that for that reason I'd love to have a midwife but <laughs> clearly with my medical history that ain't gonna happen speaking of leaving the post office too you guys were wanting to know if you could send me letters and we do have a peel box so I will go ahead and like put it down below in the description for you guys um, do not feel obligated to send us anything but a lot of you wanted to send me letters and so um, if you guys want to do that I'll leave the um, peel box information down below but anyways other than that there's not much going on guys I asked her how soon I could get my period she said soon as four weeks sometimes eight ten weeks she's all just whenever she's all um, she asked me if I wanted to get an HIV test too because of the blood I had to get transfused which I thought was really weird but anyways um, she also was supposed to check if they gave me a rogam shot because I told her I said I don't remember them giving me a rogam shot and she's like they should have gave it to you in recovery so I was probably so out of it I don't know but I want to be sure that they did give me a rogam shot so anyways um, I still think that's really odd with the test I I will show you guys when I get home them I will try and insert them into this video so the tests have been negative and then all of a sudden yesterday those two so I don't know what they are I don't know what's going on I'm just confused just as confused as you are yeah they just they were I had completely negative tests like I don't know if I showed you guys but I will show you guys when I get home they were completely negative and then yesterday all of a sudden they had like some pink to them like they were noticeable like and I thought that was weird like maybe I'm just more dehydrated or, or yeah dehydrated or something but she said my levels were negative so I have no clue you guys I have no clue I am just feeling defeated and <laughs> I was telling my grandma I said I don't know if it's true or not so I but I keep getting this feeling like we're going to have a Christmas baby I don't know why like not a Christmas baby due date baby but like get pregnant around Christmas I don't know why I just have a feeling but I'd love if it was sooner but of course everybody will say give your body time to rest but my doctor said that everything is good to go so I don't know I guess we're just trying to figure out I noticed like Tav doesn't really like talking about it and it kind of makes it hard um, he doesn't really want to talk about our loss so I think that's his way of coping with it he doesn't like if we don't talk about it then it's fine you know what I mean I don't know if that's what he's doing or not but so um yeah we're just <laughs> winging it I guess but yeah um, I promised you I'd update you guys I'm sorry it's a couple days late but I was just waiting to see if she had any information but they've never called me so um, they said they were gonna call me but I've never got anything so here's the update <laughs> and we have the clear to try again for our second rainbow <laughs> double rainbow i don't know a lot of people say double rainbow for like a rain like a a loss after a rainbow loss like or like a, a pregnancy after a rainbow loss but a lot of people say it's also a twin thing so oh and get this guys okay so my friend katie um, she's like, have you ever done the, uh, hair strand test? And I was like, what hair strand test? And she's like, um, you take a piece of your hair and you put it, you put your ring, your ring on it and you go around your fingers and then you put it over your hand. And if it goes back and forth, it symbolizes a boy. If it goes in a circle, it's a girl. And if it stops, that means you're done. So she did it on one of our other friends first. And it basically said that she was gonna have a boy next. And then it just dead stopped and it was so crazy, you guys, because it was so windy outside. Super, super windy outside. I was like, oh, the wind's gonna play with this thing, right? No, this thing like dead stops. So then she gets to me and she does the thing and it says boy. Then it says boy again, and then it says boy again, 
And then, so the next would be our first loss. So it said boy. And then our next loss, it said boy again. And then it said we're gonna have two more boys. And then it dead stopped, like brr, dead stopped. It was the creepiest thing in the world. So, if you're watching this, <laughs> Apparently we're supposed to have twins because I'm only getting pregnant one more time. So <laughs> we'll see you guys. Just thinking about trying again is the only thing that's keeping me going, you guys. And I don't know if that sounds selfish to the baby, but it's the only thing keeping me going. And I think about our angel baby every single day. Every single day, you guys. It never stops hurting. It never stops hurting. But <laughs> that is the only thing keeping me like sane and moving forward and keeping my head up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I hate my hair and I'm going to dye it black pretty soon. <laughs> but, and also my psoriasis is getting worse again, which means I'm clearly coming down from the coming down like it's a drug <laughs> coming down from the pregnancy clearly my hormones are coming down from the pregnancy though because my psoriasis is getting horrible but anyways guys <sighs> I need to go get back to work a lot of you ask what do you do like what why is what you do so hard for work and uh, <laughs> I make car seat canopies and baby items and I sell them on Etsy. My shop's called Thread Me Not. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. So yes, it is very hard, <laughs> very hard. I love what I do, you guys. I love making special items for people's brand new babies. Like, I love it so much. But it's also hard because I'm not making items for my brand new baby, so it is definitely difficult. <laughs> but yeah. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I will definitely get back to them. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything. If I am, please ask and I will elaborate. I just, I can't think of anything off the top of my head and I need to get back home so I can work, so. So anyways, that's pretty much it for today's vlog. Do vlog video, I don't know, some type of update. <laughs> if you are new here and you are not subscribed or if you come here and you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you're notified every time we post a video and don't forget to follow us on Facebook snapchat Instagram and Twitter those are all at Felicia Nicole and I will see you guys next time <laughs> bye guys <laughs>